attorney Norman Gregory Fernandez. I'm also known as the Biker Lawyer. You can read my blog at bikerlawblog.com, B-I-K-E-R-L-A-W-B-L-O-G. Today we're going to discuss how to get to your fuse panel on a Harley-Davidson electric glide motorcycle. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to take off the hard saddlebag. And so basically here's my bike in all her glory. And here's the hard saddle bag. I'm just going to take off one side just to show you how to do it. It's really simple, and you'd be surprised how many guys get these motorcycles and they have no clue how to take off their, their hard saddle bag. It's something you got to do. So the first thing is we open the latch, and then I have some stuff in there. I always keep um, wipes and stuff in there. And you'll see the two, let me get my little flashlight here, because I'm inside the garage at night because it's quieter where I live. We don't want a bunch of traffic. So you see the, the two little um, screw latches here, basically. And they're, what, they're, what they are is locking latches. So basically, we just twist. Put your hand here to hold the bag. Because if you don't have the guard like I have right here to hold the bag in, it, it will fall off. And then twist it and pull off. I just keep them inside so I don't lose them. The screw, there's a screw with a big washer. I keep those in the back so I don't lose them. So basically what we do is just lift straight up and pull it out. Now I have guards, you know, actually saddlebag guards around. Some guys don't have that, they just have the saddlebag. And you'll see, and what you want to do with this thing when you take it off, is they will sit by themselves on the floor. But keep it on a carpeted surface because you're painting, you know, there's paint on the bottom and you don't want to scratch the paint. So this is the rail right here that the, that the saddlebag sits on and then below that is the pipe. Now uh, it's, it's best when you want to clean your bike to take these bags off, obviously. That way you can get to the wheel, the pipe, and so forth. If you're lazy like me, you may not do it. So, that's how you take the bag off. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take the seat off of my bike. So I can show you how to take the seat off. Underneath the seat is actually the battery. On an Electric Light Ultra Classic, there's actually an electronic module on top of the battery. Now you can see that I have this custom heat shield. You know, the stock Harleys have, have the, the plastic or fiberglass heat shield here. I've added what looks like a saddle on to just help dissipate the heat. Unfortunately, it still gets really hot. Um, this particular, um, I have an 08 FLHC TUI, which is basically the first year I think they came out with the 96 cubic inch and it's got the, the definite heat issues compared to the the 88 cubic inch bikes of old. Even the 88 cubic inch bikes got hot though. So it, behind here, behind this pad is a screw, a retaining screw for your seat. Now most Hardys have a um, Torx screw there. I have put, put a Phillips on mine because I don't want to be stuck somewhere having to you know get a jump start or something like that and not have a Torx screwdriver with me. So unfortunately you're not going to be able to see this because it's hidden, but the screw is in there. I take a Phillips, at least on mine, loosen it. Now what I like to do is get, just get it loose enough to where you can use your finger because otherwise it will fall on the ground. And watch, since I'm demonstrating, <laughs> you know, it's always when you want to demonstrate something that it will fall, fall to the ground. So I'm unscrewing the screw. You gotta be careful because if you if you don't get the screw, you're gonna actually scratch the hell out of your paint in the back. Now this one also has a locking washer on it too, so that's the screw right there for the seat. So the secret to this, I'm gonna go to the other side, is there's a latch underneath here that latches on underneath. So to get the seat off, you're gonna lift the back and slide it backwards, and then it comes straight off. And that's how you take the seat off a Harley Davidson electric bike. Make sure you don't lose the screw, make sure you put it somewhere where you remember where it's at.
Okay, now that we got the seat off, we want to get to the battery and the fuse panel. So I'm going to take my tripod and lower it here. Okay, now that we've got the seat off, we want to get to the fuse panel. And the fuse panel is behind the left cover. Now a lot of people think the left side of the bike is from the front. No, it's from where you're sitting on it. Okay, so I have a shamrock heat shield. Now to get to my cover, it's more difficult than other people's cover. If you, most people don't have all the stuff I have on my bike. So, you know, usually you can just get right to this thing if you don't have the, um, the saddlebag protector uh, or the heat shield, you can just get right to the cover and it comes right off. But I'm going to show you how to get to the fuse panel here right now. First thing is you see I have the battery tender connector here. That's so I can plug in my trickle charger. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to take my heat shield off. Put it to the side. Since the bottom part connects with the, um, the electronic module here, I am not going to um, you know, put that on anything because it might be corrosive. But here's the electronic module on my model Harley. It's the, the uh, Ultra Classic. Underneath here is the battery. If you want to get to the battery, you take this off and the battery's underneath. It's, it's kind of a hassle on this bike. So as you can see on my bike, I have this uh, fancy bag here. That It's a storage bag. Okay. So just to, to, for me to get to the side cover, I gotta unbutton the bottom to get it out of the way. So now I can have access to the side cover. To get to the fuse panel, it's real simple. We just pull the cover off, like so. As you can see, you've got these fairings here. that They plug into rubber pieces here, and that's how it connects onto the bike. It's a painted piece, so we want to put it somewhere where it's not going to get scratched. Alright? So to get to the fuse panel now, let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. You simply take your hand and squeeze, lift up from the bottom, and boom. There's your fuse panel. Now you can see here, they've got what, what each fuse is for on here. But you can also go online and you can buy the service manual, a PDF service manual, and it'll show you the fuses. So let me zoom in and show you the fuses real quick. You've got a 15 ampers, you got 20, a 120 amp, you got the 40 amp main fuse, and so forth. So there's a couple spares that are here. I actually use one of the fuses because I actually threw a fuse. I'm storing my fuse in this little bag, by the way. I, got, I just went and bought some. These are the mini fuses. So they're, they're two prong mini fuses. Um, they're in any, any auto parts store. And since I got the cover off right now, which I was, I've been meaning to do, I'm just going to put the spare back in, the 15 amp spare. So since I used my 15 amp spare before, I'm going to take a 15 amper out. And it says, since these are the minis, you look and see they should, should have the amperage on there. So it's the blue ones here. They're a little different than the ones Hardy has in, in there. But So this is the spare socket here. I just remember where it is because I just took the damn thing out before. That's where the spares are. So as you can see, the, these are just the mini fuses. You got, you got the, the 15 ampers are the blue, 20 amp. This is 30. Here's the main 40 amp fuse, by the way, right here. The one all the way to the right. They say anytime you work on electrical on the Harley, you should pull this 40 amper out. Of course, I'm a thrill seeker, I never do it. So, let's zoom out. So to put everything back in, like I said, I store my fuses in this bag that I have here. I also have a spare set of sunglasses too there. So it's the exact opposite of what we just did. So, so we're going to put the fuse panel, the fuse box back on now. You don't want to go to, uh, backwards because then it won't go on. So you hang the top first, squeeze, 
and then voila, you squeeze the bottom and it just goes right back on. Real simple. So now that we've got the fuse panel cover back on, at least on my bike, we're going to put the cover back on. I can't tell you how many times I <laughs> put the seat back on and stuff and I forgot to put the cover back on. So the cover is real simple. You don't want to do this when the engine's hot, by the way. You could if you have to, but you've got to be very careful because the pipe's right here and that damn thing gets real hot and it, it could potentially damage the side cover if it's too hot. So you line up the grommets and just push it back on like, like this. And this is my battery tender cable and I just keep this to the side for right now until I get everything back in. So at least for me, the next thing I'm going to do now is take my heat shield. This particular heat shield is made by Shamrock and it's very rare. I've never seen anybody else with a heat shield like this. I think it's really nice. I like the way it looks. Get it on there nice. Okay. And then I'm going to put my bag back on. This, this is just a button up bag. It hooks up by buttons. And it's really nice to have extra storage. I mean, if you're going to have a bagger, you might as well go all the way, right? I've had a bagger now for about eight years. And I'll tell you what, you get to a certain age and it's just much more comfortable. When I ride with my brothers, sometimes I wish I had a bar hopper, but, you know, I don't. So now we're going to put the seat, the seat back on and now the seat is real interesting. I usually do it from the right side, but I'll do it on the left side just to demonstrate. So with respect to the seat, there's a secret to it here because otherwise if you don't do it right it ain't going to go back on. So you have to get the front, this latch part underneath the latch in the front. And you can feel if it's latched um, because it doesn't come up in the front. Now the interesting thing is to get this all the way forward you have to hit it. See how it just slid forward? Now, that, now the screw will be lined up in the back. And so now I'm going to hand tighten the screw before I get my screwdriver. I, I got big ass hands and they're difficult to get my hands in there but I'll manage. So right now I'm hand tightening it. And then I'll take my screwdriver, make sure the screwdriver is on the screw and not the paint. See? The screwdriver is actually probably a little too big for the task, but... And again, this, one, this doesn't have to be too tight either, because, you know, oftentimes you'll be on the road and you're going to need to um, get your seat off for some reason. So, the seat's back on now. So now it's time to put the saddlebag back on. So it's the exact opposite of how we took it off. Before I grab the saddlebag, I'm going to grab both screws and both washers. And I'm going to put them in my hand so that I have both of them in my hand. I lift the saddlebag. You can't see me, but I'm lifting it. I'm bringing it over. Now you place it on the rail. Like so, now I've got a battery tender cable here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay? So, because I've got the saddlebag protector, the saddlebag guards, I can kind of let it hang there and it won't go anywhere. Take your first screw, stick it in the washer, line up the holes. You can see that you can, if you look inside the bag, you can see the hole. Line it up. Uh, I'm at an age now where I definitely need glasses, I think. And you twist it until it locks. Take the second one, same thing. Twist it until it locks. For me, I take my battery tender cable, I put it behind the latch. Close it up, and our bike buttoned up and ready to rock and roll. And that's how you get to the fuse panel on the Harley-Davidson Electric Glide.
Again, my name is biker lawyer Norman Gregory Fernandez, and I ride just like you. If you want to follow me, go to my blog. It's called the Biker Law Blog. You can Google it, or you can go to www.bikerlawblog.com, B-I-K-E-R-L-A-W-B-L-O-G.com. And if, God forbid, you've been in a motorcycle accident anywhere in California, call me at 800-816-1529. 800-816-1529. Use extension 1. Now, unlike all these other posers that are advertising all over the motorcycle rallies and biker rags, I actually handle my own cases. I don't farm my cases off to attorneys who pay me money. I actually handle the cases. I'm not some poser. I'm the real deal. Say, seem to slip away, and I'm out.